New at 5, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson making a stop in Central Florida. Yeah, he and astronaut Matthew Dominic visited Ventura Elementary in Kissimmee. Afterwards, NASA's administrator talked about the elephant in the room. That bloated $20 billion moon rocket that still hasn't flown anywhere. News 6's Eric Von Anken interviewed Nelson. So, Eric, what did he say about all these SLS delays? We had a hard conversation about it, Matt. And to be fair here, remember, NASA last week had a really good week after all of those problems out on the launch pad. Remember, they couldn't get through that wet dress rehearsal fueling the rocket last week back inside. They found and they fixed all of the problems within days to try again, they believe, later on this month. But Nelson told me here he will not be pressured. What I want you to do is I want you to study science and engineering. NASA's administrator, Bill Nelson, told a lunchroom full of students that they could go to the moon on NASA's next rocket going to the moon when it launches from the Space Coast eventually. The SLS Mega Moon rocket we've been telling you is several years and billions of dollars behind schedule. Well, we are not going to fly until it's safe. And you can just nail that down. And that's uh, on all spacecraft. Uh, that's why we've had the delays that we've had. The former astronaut and U.S. Senator told me he was disappointed by the wet dress rehearsal of the SLS ending early. Mission managers weren't able to fully fuel the moon rocket, but he says it will fly its first test flight in August. SpaceX's mega rocket, the Starship, meanwhile, is likely just months away from its orbital test flight for a fraction of the development cost. SpaceX's Starship being so close to orbit now, or heading to orbit, and SLS being so far behind, is NASA feeling the pressure? Are they stepping up? Oh, not at all. Uh, what's happening is they are our partner. Uh, they haven't flown yet. We haven't flown the SLS yet. But the SLS is going to the moon. The first uh, starship is just going to do a three-quarters orbit of the Earth. And when Nelson was on Capitol Hill last week, we heard him tell an appropriations committee something that a NASA leader has never said in the past. He said, no more cost plus contracts. What this is about and what the senator, former senator, had to say about it to me here today. That's when I see again coming up at 6 and 7. We're now live in Kissimmee. Eric Von Aiken getting results. News 6.